So I'm making this Charlie Bingham's chicken drill phrasing for two, which will just be for me. These are quite expensive actually. I had the, what was it? Alfredo, meatballs Alfredo or something like that. And they were, it was actually quite nice. Worth 750, I don't think so, but I just want to try this because I actually really enjoyed the meatball dish. So I thought a curry would, might be quite nice. Uh, I just smelt it though, and it smells a little bit cheesy. <laughs> like there's cream in it. So I'm ready. Mm. Uh, there is cream in it, which I normally like, but I don't like it in like ready meals because it, it tends to sour quickly or taste sour quickly. Maybe it's just me and maybe I'm the only one, it's in my head, but I could smell it. So maybe it isn't. Okay, so my thoughts on that Charlie Bingham's chicken ticker. It's not great. It, it just tasted exactly like a more concentrated ready meal, Tesco's ready meal. The rice tasted weird as well. It kind of tasted like the smell of damp, but I think that's because of the wooden tray and maybe the wood transferred some of its flavor over to the rice when it was steaming in it. I didn't enjoy that. I also bit into a bit of onion that tasted, that's where that strange sour flavor was coming from. It was that one bit of onion and it was, uh, yeah, it wasn't pleasant. It, w it was it was strange, but that otherwise there was no weird flavour for it. Didn't eat it all. I just ate the bits of chicken. The chicken was nice. Chicken breast, obviously, still quite um, tender for chicken breast. I hate chicken breast as it is. Seven fifty. It is not worth. I can tell you that for a fact. I was really disappointed after the uh, meatballs Alfredo's one was so good. So, but I mean, I'll try another one because I, I did like that meatball one. So I think maybe oh, I might even try another curry. No, I won't because that rice is really is horrible. So we had, basically, it, we've had this issue once before, but someone um, bought two boxes of Lucky Boat noodles and was basically bitching that they didn't have a lining or anything and then some of the nests in there were broken. <laughs> some of the nests are gonna be broken. It's basic physics. When, you get when things get transported, that's just what happens. And you know, us as restaurants or as normal functioning people know that when you make a nest, you can put a little bit of the extra loose ones in the bottom and then you can use your whole box that way. You're even packing them into the box because they're gravity fed, they're not hand placed one by one into a box. They break from that as well. <laughs> they said they weren't lined and loads of people were going, oh my God, I can't believe that. It's, the, they're a factory that is massive. This is not a tiny company. They're subject to some of the most strict health and safety regulations. If health and safety are going around there and saying that's absolutely fine, it's absolutely fine. This is how they come to the takeaways and this is how the takeaways use them. So if you go to your takeaway and you eat the Chinese takeaway food there, that's exactly how it comes and how they're used. Why would we take them out of the box and put them into another bag and then put them back in the box? It doesn't make sense. That's how we use them. That's how everyone else who's bought us off use them. That's who, how everyone buys them when they go to, I don't know, Hello Oriental, Yi Hong, Siwoo. <laughs> it's just, you gotta use your brains, people. That if it's got the printing on the outside, it's come from the factory like that. What else, uh, like, we get that transported like that to us? Off the back of a fucking lorry, yeah. Think. And, you know, if you've got an issue, come to me directly. Don't go on fucking Facebook and put a, a message up that's quite honestly makes you look thick. It's just so they can hide behind everyone else's yeah. comments. It's so, yeah, exactly it. That's exactly what you're doing. You're trying to hide behind everyone else's comments. Quite honestly, man up, message me, and I can explain to you why. In fact, the group did a really good job explaining to you why, but you couldn't quite grasp that concept, could you? And also, they mentioned, if I'd known it'd come like this, I wouldn't have ordered it. All we're doing is put, send it out in its original packaging, just like you would walk into Tesco's and pick something off the shelf in its original packaging. It just, honestly, it, it just doesn't make sense. I'm only angry because they gone and went about it this way. If they, like lots of people, I say lots, one, one person before had an issue and we explained it to them, they were absolutely fine after that. They realized actually, oh wait, that does make sense. That wasn't even our fault though, because they, they had OCD problems. Yeah, they did have, a, and they admitted to us they had OCD problems, but severely, they were trapped inside the house and stuff. But um, anyway, but they were absolutely fine once we explained it to them. So yeah, that's, it. if you had just come to us like a normal person, we would have replied, well, I would have replied. But no, you had to try and get people on side to back your side up, which, absolutely um, blew up it, it, because everyone was like, well, because most people 
boom, we're just like, well, that's how they come. That's, that's like you've been mad at a Ferrari turning up red when you wanted blue, but most Ferraris are red. It's just... Yeah, right, we know you want a Ferrari. Yeah, I do want a Ferrari. <laughs> I'm waiting for a phone call on a car, and I hate talking to people, I don't know. This is really difficult. Yeah, you've been in a funny mood the last few days, haven't you? Yeah, because I, I know I have to do it, and I don't like to do it. I've missed it for the last... I missed the one on yesterday, I was meant, they were meant to call, but I don't answer numbers I don't know, so... And now I think I'm probably going to have to phone them. And the idea of that is... And you can't grasp the concept that I have. Like, I know a lot of people just go, oh, you've got to get over it, blah, blah. And I do get over it, but it's just terror. It makes me feel sick. <laughs> I'm okay once I start talking, but until I, I, I physically going to go do it, it's just the worst. I launched the uh, Ligungi video. If you haven't seen uh, the new intro for that me and mum did for it, you need to go watch it because mum is on form in it. It was brilliant. But yeah, we, it's done. It's got the least views we ever had, which I kind of expected because it was on Ligungi first and we pushed everyone to go there, which is what we want. So that's absolutely fine. But it's the it's the one, it's the biggest world where we've had people unsubscribe. I think nearly over 100 people have unsubscribed uh, since get going up. And I'm pretty sure most of them are, the, are haters who are annoyed that we are now legit working with a, a large scale company. Because <laughs> otherwise, there's no. Could there be no reason? No. No. So it's just like, ah, oh, fuck, um, we've lost. We can't keep you know, trying to put us down anymore because we we haven't made it, obviously, but we're doing better than they could ever hope that we would have done. <laughs> so I got sent this today. I like the hashtag chin rants on there. That's pretty funny. It feels light. I don't know what it could be. I've got to do this quick because it's for Liam. Someone said they'd send him one. It's a mankini for him to wear on the next live stream. Sweet. I don't think he will wear it. I don't think he'll look like that in it either. No. <laughs> 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 Shit, Liam works out. <laughs> you know, on the live stream, we were talking about Liam being able to deep throw a chocolate bar. <laughs> well, he's never had a Rennie before, so I gave him one and he just swallowed it whole. Did what me? nutter does that? <laughs> Cover it. It's not, it's a ch you chew them. Yeah, but you can swallow it still. No, you chew them. That's why it's so painful to swallow because you're not supposed to. Yeah, it still does the same thing, wouldn't it? Yeah, it will, it just takes yeah. longer. Yeah, sorry. Because you haven't broken it down. I don't want down. to chew it then. Chew it, you weirdo! Yeah, taste. Does it taste minty? Oh, someone gave you a present. Yeah. Mm -hmm. really? This is for you to wear on the next live stream, I said. <gasps> oh. Oh. I don't know if there's a note in there. No. Oh, I'll add it to the collection. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're going to wear that? Yeah, it works or not. Just casually around the house. Going out, yeah, I'm with lads. <laughs> <laughs> you needed a new outfit. <laughs> oh, no, I've been Did you swallow it. that? No, I chewed it, but yeah, I'd swallow it next time. Fuck it out. Tastes like shit. Yeah, they're not, they're not good. Cool. Cool. After a while, you start enjoying them though, because I like quite like them now. What? She's here. Well, she's part of the conversation. Yeah, you don't need to look at me though. So you will you wear that next time? <coughs> no. No? You should. It's worth the money's right. <laughs> the pennies take your clothes off and put them on. It's one size. Mm. I'm quite surprised it's that small. I didn't think it would fit into there. No, I didn't try to put on. I know you're not wearing it, but get it out. I'm not getting my willy out again though. It's not really the right colour. I prefer a blue one, I would have worn it. No, it's not as green as I thought it would be. It's more it's yellow, isn't well it? Green. It's more yellow. It's still bigger than... It's not that green on there. More fabric than some, some people's knickers, though. Especially in knickers. Jesus Christ. You love it, don't you? Yeah, it's amazing. Say thank you, Ed. Thanks. <laughs> Good day at work today. We actually did... The best Monday we've ever done. I think we did 510, which is amazing. Put in? Tuesday. Why, why do I always say Monday? Because I just, no, normally Sunday, before lockdown, Monday was our always first day back. 
That's why I keep saying Monday. So it's Tuesday. Today's vlog might be a bit short because I haven't had much to film and I'm having to edit at the same time. So yeah, I just had that phone call. Well, no, I just haven't. Today at around two o'clock I had that phone call from the guy we were waiting for to phone me about a car. So let's see if that goes through. I'll let you know if it does and I'll let you know what I get when it does. So if I do bother going through with it, it's, um, I'm owning an R-ring because it doesn't have the sound system I want. But the garage it's coming from is so is, is really good. Like they're literally they only like deal in certain kind of cars. And when someone buys it, a car from them, they they do an automatic check on like alloys and paintwork. So if there's chips, they fix the chips for free. If the alloys need refurbing, they refurb them for free. And they don't let the car to the customer until it looks showroom pristine on the outside. That's the only upside of wanting to buy a car from them. The downside is that it doesn't have the sound system and music is life to me. How do you think that makes me and Tom Matt feel? Well, look at Tom, man, he's stupid. head. Hello! Oh no, he's scared of you. That's about it for today. Ooh. In the fridge you go, Tom, man. Got some heroes. I haven't had... Oh, they're smaller than I thought they'd be. I've never had one before. What was that? That's, that's not a well-known bloody... Cream egg? Oh. Eclair? An Eclair? They are delicious. I've had, a, it. I've had an Eclair before. Oh. It's just so what are they doing in this mix? These are chocolate bars. When has an Eclair ever been a chocolate bar? I was going to say, I can't believe you've not had an Eclair before. I'm on a ch ch crunchy. I haven't had one for years. Oh, they do crunchies, isn't they? Well, on the outside they say they... Piss off. Let me look for one. I've got delicate hands. I can, I can sift through the shit. There you go. No! <laughs> How is that a crunchy? I'm pretty sure in the adverts when I was younger they used to be chocolate bars. Probably. Mm. Oh, well, hot it's not even a fucking crunchy! What? It's got bits of honeycomb in. Fucking customer! Crunchy bit! I'm pretty sure they used to be actual chocolate bars. That shit. Mm. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, stay safe. This is the way. Live long and fucking prosper. Stay classy, San Diego. Chin, taller man, and poopy pants. Out! Look at this.